So here we show uh, the robot opening the door. It's a manual door, but uh, you know, obviously, if you you know, over time, this door will wear, you know, and it goes harder. So I mean, we can also have an outer door, which is basically has an extra you know help, an extra cylinder that pulls the door open. So the outer door is uh, another option we, we offer. Um, this is just to show the capabilities of a robot. Typically, I would say customers would buy an outer door, a machine with an outer door. So one single part, but we also can set up the machine for three different parts. So if you put in a synchronous tailstock that moves and gives us uh, room and length, it basically can have different length parts in it and different size parts. So you can have bigger parts, smaller parts, and that's what most of our customers are interested. They have job shops. They have like five pieces here, three pieces there, you know, eight pieces there, and then you have basically three different pallets. You have these grippers. They can hold up to a certain weight. We have different options um, for these grippers. And then uh, basically you can load the part and you can get some automation out of it. And it helps basically to reduce the number of, of operators you have in the shop. So you don't need like, you know, if you have a guy and he operates like three machines, he can maybe operate five machines, you know, using solutions like that. And we got, uh, we, we have one of the robots that all the cables go through the, through the base. So uh, you don't see any cables around here, which is, uh, which is really nice and clean setup, you know, so that's, that's really good. So if you step in now, as soon as it opens up, it stops now. It doesn't move any further because it has danger of a pinch point there. So we stop the machine when I'm standing here. If I'm standing away again, you see it opens up, changes the part and moves on. So this is a safety feature that we have uh, built in there. And that's why, that's why it's important, you know, when you as a manufacturer, you know, you make the machine and the robot together. So these are things that you can implement as safety features. And uh, because, uh, you know, people think just sitting a cobot in front of it is, e you know, is easy, but there's a lot of interaction still between the machine and the robot. So, so it's a very flexible solution. It's a brand new product. We just developed and the first one was sold and we have a lot of interest in the, in the unit.